everything has been going exceptionally well. We've played games, we won games, we've beaten teams, until our goaler got injured for eight weeks. And since then, we haven't harvested one single point. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Journeyman on Football Manager 20. We are here in South Africa with our mighty Kaiser Chiefs. And since you and I were last together, I've played quite a lot of games off camera. Starting with receiving Super Sport home in the league and we've beaten them 1-0. Then we received Sundowns and we, again we've beaten them 1-0. Then we played away to Cubwe Warriors in the Champions League and we smashed them 5-1. Goes from Putulesis, Kozana, Morazi, Hlofi and Untili. Then there was this massive break. We played some friendlies just to keep um, match sharpness and fitness okay. Then we came back for the first league for the first match in the league after the break and we came to we we received Cape Town City and we smashed them 8-3 guys. At one point I think we were 7-1 basically so uh, Quinana with a with, with a hat-trick Diane with a brace Carlos knock and Cicalazzi um, basically mind you I think Cape Town if nothing changed they are um, 15th I think in the league or 14th so we'll check we'll check later then we received Vita Club in the Champions League and we won 2-0 we went away to Ajax and we won 2-0 then we went away in the Champions League to MA to Ton and we won 2-0 again and then we played the first round of the South African Cup against Bloom Celtic away and won 4 0. So until then, everything was going perfectly well. Clean, nice, all wins, no problems at all. We were on a high. And then, right after this match, our keeper got injured in training for six weeks, I think, something like that. And then, since he went. He, since he got injured, we haven't won one single match and we haven't even harvested one single point. So up till here, I think we were like eight points clear, right? Um, we were eight points clear after we've beaten Ajax and um, however, Orlando Pirates had a game in hand, right? So then we played Orlando Pirates away and we lost one, two. And then we received Mar... Mar oh, I mean... Losing to Orlando Pirates away, it's not a big deal, right? Um, it could happen, you know? But then, losing home 5-2, well, like, not losing, but humiliated home 5-2 against Maritzburg, this was unacceptable, guys, unacceptable. Um, yeah, and the keeper is still injured, so it might be a problem. In today's episode, we're going to play Kobe, well, we are qualified from the Champions League, so we are qualified already for the second round, but... Anyway, we'll play Cowboy Warriors home and then TS Galaxy home in the league. Let's have a look at the league. Um, I've got plenty to show you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, in the league, we are... We have a game in hand on... Well, yeah, apologies. I said Orlando Pirates had a game in hand on us. We had a game in hand on Orlando Pirates and we were eight points clear. Now we're only two points clear because we lost two consecutive games, right? So, with 20 games, we are 48 points. Orlando Pirates 46 and Cape Town... Yeah, Cape Town are 15th, guys. Cape Town are 15th. In the Champions League, we have uh, qualified, but we haven't won the group yet. So we need a win today against Cabo Warriors. That shouldn't be a problem, basically, because they only got one point in their five games. And we are playing them home. So, yeah, that's that. I mean, it, there was a break. There was all of January and uh, like a week or two in February, and in, 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 in which the transfer market was open. And we got a new player in. Let me show you. He, I think he is a player from Sudan. Let me show you. Yeah, this guy here, Mohammed Gabir. We got him for 76k. I think we got him for a really good bargain. Um, he's a central midfielder. He can play basically all roles. Mezzala, central midfielder, roaming playmaker, deep line playmaker. I mean, he's, he's jack of all trades. And I... He's 27 years old, he has 38 caps for Sudan, and I think he's decent. I mean, he's not the best midfielder around, but for for, for star current ability, I think 
he will serve our purpose extremely well and he already put himself on the score sheet he played i uh, unfortunately i couldn't register him for the letters for 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 the champions league hopefully now we can register before we start the second round um because he came in late and the register the register window was already closed but he played in the league he put himself on the score sheet once i think um yeah once from a pen basically so yeah but before we go to the match i wanted to show you something um if we have a look we have like our four main players all on double on double figures 19 goals 15 goals for diana 12 for quinana 11 for viara and eight for carlos six for more so basically we are doing very well in scoring goals and we are not heavily dependent on a single player which is very good because this shows that we have plenty of options up front and uh, this is good even when we come to rot we have to rotate the squad due to the heavy schedule so yeah just wanted to show you this guys good 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 now we are going into um the the last match of the champions league against cubby warriors i think they are from zambia yeah okay um now the heavy the heavy schedule has calmed down a bit so we have time to to like rest and and, and stuff like that and uh, let's see i i would go for with the best with the best formation since we just came from two um, back to back losses i want to to put in my best formation and um to to try and win and win big basically Mm, what I want to do is put Butelezi in because he's been moaning because he's not getting um, enough enough game time basically. So Gabir can't play. Let's put Lewis in for Skosana and uh, off we go, guys. Off we go. So yeah, basically everything was going perfectly well. Um, good wins, a lot of goals, not, not a lot of goals conceded. But then once the keeper got injured and he got injured like in a silly way in training basically he's not he hasn't been injured during a match or so um we haven't won we haven't won a single point basically and the the, the game home against morrisburg is still i'm still very bitter about it because okay it's one thing you lose a match but like getting beaten 5-2 home it's it's not on guys <laughs> it's not on um yeah we need at we need to win just to win the league uh not to win the league <laughs> to win the group stage although the other team tutan is not uh, they don't have an easy match i think they are playing away to the ivory coast team i think or something like that so it's not going to be an easy match although the african team the other team um, it's not that there's no chance that they can qualify for for the later stages of this Champions League, but still it's not going to be an easy match, I guess. Uh, yeah. So the keeper, um, and it's not that like the, the the keeper that we're playing with 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 our reserve keeper, with our second keeper, it's not like he he did a lot of mistakes and stuff. But probably I don't know if it's the morale of the team or I don't know, guys. It could be a coincidence that since the keeper got injured, we haven't won a point. But the fact is that once he got injured, we stop, we stop winning basically. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this this thing will end now here in this match. Come on, twenty minutes passed and we have seen nothing so far. Um, Shongwe, come on, out on the left to carlos carlos with the cross they clear out the cross carlos is first on the loose ball he gets back possession again he charges at their defense but then passes the ball shongwe butelezi shoots and he proved me right guys he was he was i'm um, complaining a bit because he was not having a lot of game time because obviously in that position behind the, our attackers we i usually play quinana because he delivers and um with with when we brought joe carlos he lost his because he was like the second guy who to play on the left so yeah but what a goal guys um i don't know if you can hear strange noises at at the back 
But as soon as I started recording, my neighbor start, decided to start doing some works on his roof. And I don't know if you can hear it, but um, I can hear thumping noises and, and, and drilling noises and, and, and whatever. So apologies if you can hear that noise at the back. I'll try to edit as much as edit off as much as possible. Um, but I don't know. So just in case, apologies. It's out of my control. It wasn't there when I started recording. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Joe Carlos with another cross. Oh, it's a good save. I don't know if it was a save or we hit the bar actually there. But yeah, we're playing. We're we're playing okay. Now they have their own highlight with Cola. Crosses it in. Liu Langa clears it out. They still have possession though with Litana. Litana tries to turn around. He finds support in Tambo. We clear out the ball. We intercept the pass, and now we can start our own counter. Nice pass to MT, and T has the chance to advance. He chooses to stop and gives it out to Carlos. Carlos shoots, and there it is, his ninth. What a piece of attack it was. What a piece of attack. Lovely piece of attack. Look at this. Shongwe finds a passage, and he passes it to MT. MT. He can shoot from there, but he stops. He sees Joe Carlos on the left. He gives him the ball, Joe Carlos. Steps inside the box and rivals, rifles it in. 2 0. Well done. I mean, this is not the hardest match ever, obviously, but uh, it's good. It's good to see your players play good. And uh, actually, they're still. This is their team now. I, th I think they're losing because we had two points. We were two points clear of them. And now we're five. So, yeah, they're losing. MT to Joao Carlos back to MT MT finds Nock Nock is waiting for support he finds it in Joao Carlos on the far right left Joao Carlos gives it back to MT back to Joao Carlos look at how we're passing the ball here guys come on Mayo and that's his fourth Joao Carlos with two assists here is it two assists or an assist and a goal I don't, I don't know But what, what a buy this MT guy has been for us, guys. Excellent buy. And even João Carlos, mind you. I think we, we, we did extremely well in our, um, in our transfer market, the initial transfer market, when we got the likes of João Carlos, uh, Viana, Diane, <coughs> MT, Hloffy. They're all performing very well. So now we are... 3 nil up, one goal and one assist for Joe Carlos, which is fine. I don't know what uh, <laughs> what my assistant manager told the, the the guys, but they didn't like it. <laughs> so, MT, Butelezi, to knock, knock, the shot has been saved and cleared into a corner. The corner which Chongwe will take care of. Chongwe crosses it in. He f almost finds knock there. Come on. Mayo. To Langa. Langa. Hluffy. Chongwe. To Mayo. Mayo shoots. Jesus Christ. Mayo. <laughs> okay. Okay. Chongwe again. To Mayo. Mayo crosses it in, this time knock with the header, an easy catch for the keeper, but we're keeping on the pressure here guys, and that's good, it shows that we're not getting complacent, even if we're winning 3-0, and we're dominating the game, Shongwe, finds Joe Carlos on the left, Joe Carlos enters the box, Pass his opponent, he crosses. That's his second, my own second for the match. The first attempt hit the post, and then from the rebound, he was the quickest one to on the ball and taps it in. Look at this. 
And the, I, is the SS, will, will the SS go to João Carlos here? He passes his opponent, he crosses it in, Mayo heads it, hits the post, and then from the rebound, he's quicker than his defend, than the defender marking him, and taps it in. No. <laughs> the assist wasn't given to João Carlos here. Xiongue with the cross, crosses it in, Luffy on the volley, hits the side of the net. Let's make some substitutions. After this, after this, let's make some substitutions. Hluffy again, 20. Back to Hluffy, back to the keeper. Hluffy to Lewis, Lewis with a long pass, he finds for a moment Yane. Yane tries to has it to knock, he loses possession. Now, Piri, 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 whatever. They're trying to build an attack here. The pass gets intercepted. Now, Butelezi to Shongwe. Shongwe to Unti. Back to Butelezi. Back to Unti. A lovely pass out on the right to Diane. Diane finds Mayo. Mayo crosses it in. João Carlos with the header. And now João Carlos is in double figures as well. Mayo returned the favor there with a superb assist. And this takes us to 5 0, guys. So let's. Actually, no, not, no, I'm not going to do it like this. Let's make a sub, a few subs. Um, the, the attackers haven't scored still. That's strange. It's not a problem. Let's put the Viana in for Diane. I want to put um, Tsikalazi on for Mayo. Shongwe is dying soon. So we'll put Morozi in for Shongwe. And off we go. Hopefully, Viana can, can put his name on the score sheet here. But what a convincing win. 5 0 with like 20 minutes left to play. MT finds Viana, and there it is. Almost scores with his first attempt in this match. Now, Kazonde, this is a goal, definitely. Oh, our keeper manages <laughs> to save <laughs> one shot. <laughs> they have a corner. We clear it out. We haven't even shouted anything at them yet. Let's praise them. It gets them all fired up. Empty. Good pass to Viana there. Viana, he's alone against four though. He shoots. He had no support whatsoever, so it was the best thing to do. At least he shot on target. Again, Morozi to Langa. To Morozi. To Lewis. Lewis with a long pass versus Viana. He finds him. He gives it to Nock. Butelezi. Pen. 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 Pen, pen, pen. Joe Carlos for the hat trick. And there it is. He hammers it in. 3 nil. Oh, well, 3 nil. 6 nil. 3 goals for Joe Carlos. Plus an assist. So definitely he will win the player of the match. So before we lost the first. Before we lost to Orlando Pirates, we broke in the record. The South African record and the club record obviously uh, for the most consecutive wins which i think it was 12 and we've managed to win 14 and we've broken the club record for the most unbeaten games it was 26 i believe so good stuff there good good stuff so we finished the game 6-0 three goals from joe carlos one from butelezi and two from mayo there what a performance from the lads and now we're gonna have a two-day rest and after that, we will come back for the game against Galaxy Football Club, which are currently 16th. And winning them, winning against them, will probably make a favor. We won. Oh, we got one, one, six. Now, let's have a look at the finances, basically. Okay, so we have 6.2 million in the bank. The board is, reviews, is refusing to improve our youth, system, our, um, youth facilities, which it kind of pissed me off because... 
there is the money to do it and obviously by improving your 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 youth facilities obviously you're gonna invest in the future right and and i asked them like twice and they 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 wouldn't budge on their decision of not wanting to do it so anyway um as in uh, wage budget we're fine we are under the budget by almost like 15k which is fine um more than 15k actually and we still have some uh, millions to spend in the transfer market so everything is going well um now give me two seconds and i'll come back for the galaxy game so guys as you can see the draw for the second round of the champions league is out i mean there wasn't a draw basically i just received an email saying that some matches um uh, have been post well not postponed the date was changed for some games um because of champions league matches so i went into my schedule and i found out that we drew <laughs> es setif they are a team from algeria a two and a half star reputation um and we are playing them very soon basically it's tomorrow's episode it's gonna be champions league episode the champions league episode we're gonna start against them away and then we come back um in like what they we play on the second and then on the ninth again so we come back in seven days and play them home but that's tomorrow's episode now we're off to galaxy and um hopefully we can beat galaxy and start again our our run to the south african title basically because we have lost two in a row and i don't like it <laughs> um yeah i mean there wasn't any draw just you know I, I don't know if it was the preset thing like you know you have four groups and whoever wins blah blah so winner of group a plays second best of group d whatever something like that probably it was something like that so there wasn't um there wasn't uh, the need of a draw it's like when in real life when they do the european cup or the world cup you know exactly who's gonna play who right the winner of group a plays second place of group h and yeah that something like that so yeah i've made a few changes for this match i've put gabir in um, instead of shongwe i have put in um quinana on for butelez because now after this match we have a south african cup match and obviously i will play a heavily rotated squad uh, i've put in tsikalatsa in because mayo was suspended on the right and uh, did i change anyone else i don't think so i don't think so so now knock enters the box crosses it in finds diana and there he is with his 16th of the season Considering that this guy got him for free and has been called back to the Senegalese um, national team, guys. So, <laughs> we got him for free. Yep, it's a goodbye. Um, at the moment, we are five points clear from second place Orlando Pirates. And as if, well, they are seven points clear from third place so it looks like i mean there's not a lot of matches left to be played in the league like seven i think or eight so it looks like it's going to be a two horse race from now on and the two teams they're, they're hot rivals because they come from the same city sutawana so yeah mtsikalazi to gabir back to mtsikalazi mtsikalazi passes opponent well tries to back to gabir gabir Gives it to Quinana. Quinana tries to shoot. The shot gets diverted into a corner. A corner which Quinana himself takes charge of. Tries to find Knock. Well, he finds Knock. Knock with the header. It goes over the bar. So, I don't know this Algerian team. I don't know what to think about. I, I, I must assume that we are slightly better. Um, I'm sure we're more than two and a half star reputation as a team. Ojo Carlos here, we need to change him. Let's put Butelezi in for Carlos. I don't want to lose him now. Uh, I'm sure we're like that better. So I'll, we'll check reputation of before we end up this episode if I remember. Uh, but I think we can. I think we can. We can. We can win. Basically, there's. I don't know if we're favorites or not we'll have a look we'll have a look in tomorrow's episode before we start 
we'll have a look at the odds um, of the remaining teams in the Champions League and, and, and stuff like that. Just to see the whole picture. Come on, knock with a header over the bar. We would I would like to score another goal just to put my mind at rest here. And this is our game in hand that we're playing, so... But now, since other matches have been postponed, we still have to we still have games in hand probably, especially if we proceed in the let to the later stages. Another pen here, two pens. In this episode, Butelezi, I think, yeah, or Quinana, Quinana, I think. Quinana, come on! Oh my God! Oh, come on from the rebound. He missed like this is the fourth, I think, that he missed, and I always say I will change him. Uh, I will designate someone for the pens because I never designate players. And I always forget. But here it is. Luckily, he hits the post on his first attempt and then from the rebound, he's faster than the keeper. And he taps it in. 2-0. Let's change some more players after this highlight. Knock hasn't scored yet. In, two, in this episode, no, he was absent. Oh, they hit the post slash bar there. So we'll take off knock with 73%. We'll put Viana in. And uh, we will remove Quinana and put Puerta in. He needs match fitness, Puerta. He's just back from an injury as well. So, yeah, but a good episode all in all. Eight goals scored, none conceded so far. Not bad. Corner from Puerta. No one connects, they clear it out. But Gabir is first on the ball, gives it to Mirkalazi, who gives it back to Gabir. Now Langa, we're keeping possession here. A nice opening on the right to Mirkalazi, who starts his run. Crosses it in, Butelezi with a towering header, just over the bar, unlucky mate, unlucky. Like 10 minutes left on the, on the clock, including injury time, and they have a highlight. They cross it in, we clear it, not far away, not good enough, and September, Kino September with his third of the season, opens the game again. Let's demand more. I know they're dead, look. Come on, two minutes left. One minute left. Come on, come on, blow the whistle, ref. We did it, we did it. At the end, we've managed to win. Home, again, I mean, I, I pretended more. I mean, we're playing the, the, the bottom team at home. So I pretended a bit more there. But I mean, we had plenty of, of, of chances within, within, we never were in danger, basically. Apart from that goal in the 83rd minute, so, so yeah, um, I had to check something, but I forgot. <laughs> oh my God! No, I, I, I know I told you. Oh, we had to check our reputation, right? We had to check. Jesus Christ! I hope you're not hearing these noises, guys. Uh club info. Three. So we're like a half star, better than them. Well, our reputation is a half star better than them. But then, now we need to show it on the pitch, basically. Um, so, yeah. Next episode, we're going to play ES Setif from Algeria in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did so, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to Champion Review. My name is Jerry D. And until next time, please stay safe. Please stay at home. Remember to wash your hands. Don't touch your ugly faces. Practice social distancing. And bye-bye.